Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, we're gonna talk about pop-up camper organization. Now, I know a lot of you probably think um, when you hear the term pop-up camper organization it is about how to organize things while you're camping. And we're absolutely gonna talk about that. But I also wanna address the issue of how to organize your pop-up when you're traveling or when your pop-up is in storage which is arguably harder because, you know, you collapse everything down, pop your roof down, and there's less space. Now, here's a few things I also want you to think about. We probably have a different pop-up camper than you do, and with that being said, there's gonna be different storage areas, the cabinets are gonna be different, the drawers are gonna be different, the areas in which you can put things will be different sides. So keep that in mind, and also keep in mind that the items you're bringing might be different than what we're bringing and what we're trying to fit into those unique storage spaces. So with all that being said, we're gonna show you what we do for pop-up camper organization, um, both when uh, you know, you're know you towing your camper, when it's stored, and then also when, uh, when you're out there camping. So we'll show you that, we'll show you some cool modifications we've made and then some stuff that we've bought that help us keep our camper organized. All right guys, so one cool modification you can do um, for inside your pop-up when you're actually camping is one of these shoe organizers. So what we did for this is we took a shoe organizer and cut it down to length, so that way we have um, two rows of essentially shoe organizers. So we have a total of eight organizers, and as you can see, we place a lot of things that we like quick, quick and easy access to, either from the inside of the camper or the outside of the camper. And all we did to mount this was we screwed it in with some washers behind it into this um, into this board, which is the side of the shower. And then of course, here's the door. So that's, some, that's an easy modification that you can uh, do to your pop-up camper. Okay, so another thing that you can do for the inside of your pop-up is get one of these hanging organizers that you can hang directly off the um, clothes hanger that uh, is in the roof of a lot of pop-up campers. So what we use this for is lightweight pantry items. And generally, you know, lightest on the top, all the way, and then maybe some slightly heavier in the middle. And you can actually probably put some heavier items at the bottom there because it's practically on the countertop below. We got this from Ikea and um, it's really handy for uh, some of your lighter weight pantry items. That way you can take uh, advantage of some of that vertical space. Now, going along with pantry items, a lot of the times what we'll pack is one of these collapsible um, organizers that is actually marketed as like a trunk organizer or something similar, but this one folds up and packs down really nicely. And then we will usually put a lot of our heavier stuff in here and it rests in between, of course, the sink and the stove fits in there perfectly. And what this allows us to do is have an easy thing to pack up some of the food items we might be taking outside of the camper for whatever given meal we're having. So it kind of is a double purpose. It, it's not only food organization for when you're not eating, but it also allows you to take whatever food and plates and things you might need for that particular meal outside if you're cooking outside. Now, a lot of you might be wondering what to do with your clothing. And here's where we might not be of much help because usually it's only the two of us and the dogs. And what we do is we simply put our backpacks and the dog's duffel right on this countertop here. That's pretty much dedicated space for that. Now, I know a lot of you have, you know, uh, a lot more family members camping with you or kids. And one thing you might want to try out are the three drawer stair lights. Um, drawer organizers that can utilize a little bit more of that vertical space. And in a space like this, you could probably fit two side-by-side -side drawers. So you'd, you'd have six total bins. So that's just an option for clothing. Okay, so this next organizational item is what we use to organize our um, cabinets that we have within the pop-up. So for example, in this space, we are able to fit 
some of these small little baskets that um, you can get from the Dollar Tree. And you know, of course they're like a dollar a piece or whatever. So they're quite cheap. And these ones fit decently well right in this uh, cupboard. Now if I back you up a little bit, directly to the left is this cabinet. Now of course there's a water heater underneath, but we do have this shelf right here and we're able to fit some slightly larger of the same basket. And for example, we keep our towels in there and then directly behind that, we have uh, some extra toilet paper. So with these baskets, we're able to take advantage of these uh, spaces a little bit better and it's a cheap and easy uh, way to organize whatever you need to throw in your cabinets. Okay, so moving on to another cabinet. This is kind of a very deep cabinet that it's hard to reach the all the way back. So what we did is we elected to get an even different type of basket organizer. But the cool thing is it has these handles that you can hook together. And when you pull out the front one, it brings the back one with it. So once again, these are uh, just Dollar Tree baskets that um, really fit this particular cabinet well and uh, allow us to um, reach back there and organize some of our miscellaneous items. And finally, in this cabinet, once again, is, bas is a basket, but we further um, organize stuff down by using, uh, you know, just your Ziploc bags. So soaps and sponges, more Ziplocs, stuff like that. So you can go even further into organization with, of course, you know, Ziploc bags. And um, here we just keep some of our kitchen essentials that uh, you would have under your sink at home as well. All right, so the final thing we have for interior organization are these large milk crate um, type baskets. And that's for our, um, our bench storage that's in our slide out. So, as you can tell, you can pretty easily access what's immediately under it. However, um, if it's something slightly bigger that won't slide all the way out, what you can do is you can just take out that in or that middle uh, milk crate, pull it out, and then slide whatever you're trying to access um, over. And then uh, then you can just throw the uh, middle one kind of back in. And that's an easy way to store a lot of your, you know, um, blankets and linens and, you know, softer items, pillows, stuff like that in an uh, um, easy-to-grab way. All right, guys, so here's how the pop-up looks. Essentially, when it's in its travel configuration, the only exception is, of course, I popped up the roof, slid out the beds, and then pulled out the slide out. But other than that, everything's where it normally is when we're traveling. We, of course have to keep our cushions right where they're at right here. And that's because there's really no other place to put the cushions um, when it's folded down. Now, we also keep our shepherd's hooks on their respective areas uh, for when we're traveling. And I think that's what most people do. They either put them on top of their beds or uh, below them. As many of you know who've watched the Camping with Dogs video, we camp with our dogs, so we bring their uh, travel dog crates along and we just leave them in here. And of course there's a shepherd, shepherd's hook there. But let me back up a little bit. As you can tell, we keep our pillows on the ground right here under the sink. And once again, that's just really because they're such big bulky items that that's really where they fit. Now what we do for like uh, tissues and paper towel is we actually take advantage of this open sink cavity and put those right in there when we flip or after we flip down the sink. Now, there's a little bit more storage area bet uh, beneath our table. And what we do there, and you can't see it, but in the way back, there is our outdoor stove that uh, we can take outside. And then in front of it, in this tote, is um, all of our cast iron cookwares. Now to the right of that, we put a lot of our long items. So for example, the vacuum and our Wolfham sticks and a broom, stuff like that. And then as you can see, we put one of our Reflectix inserts that goes in the bump out um, uh, window right here. Now, another thing you can consider for when you need to um, you know, organize your pop-up when you're in travel mode 
is some unused space in the front. So we um, will oftentimes, if we need the space in the car, put some of these bigger items like the cooler or a grill or the Blackstone or whatever up front here and um, utilize that space. So uh, that way, like I said, we're not taking up uh, room in the car and also so we're not um, putting too much weight at the back of the camper. Um, and as you can see, we really like to only put light stuff back there, paper towels and pillows and such. Okay, so in the shower, when we're in travel mode, we actually put our mattress topper in there in the original bag. And the reason for that is because, as you can see, we actually have a pretty thick mattress. Um, and we actually uh, modified that a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable. But with the uh, mattress topper on top of that, it's just too um, thick to close the roof. So. That's why we keep that in here. We, of course, keep a few more things for the shower, um, like the shower curtains uh, down below there. And so all that stuff kind of um, nests in there nicely when we're traveling. Now, another thing to note, if you guys watched our um, ref how to you know, make the Reflectix inserts uh, video, um, you'll notice we have our Reflectix inserts for the windows, which we store under that front mattress. All right, guys, so as far as the front storage box goes. And I know not everybody has a front storage box, but a lot of people might have a front slider or something similar, some sort of outdoor accessible storage. But this is what we put in our front storage box. And a quick note on the stuff that's in here. The vast majority of it actually comes out while we're camping. So there's really no true organization to it um, when we're actually set up at the campsite. But where the organization is really important is when you're, of course, traveling or when your camper's at home or in storage. So here's what we do. Um, we have one large tote for a lot of our large items. And the reason we got one of uh, this large tote was actually mainly to hold on to our ball leveler. Now, we throw a lot of our lights on top so they don't get... Um, you know, squished by anything else or anything really heavy. But as soon as the lights are out, um, you can see a lot more of the stuff we have in here. So like I said, a lot of the big heavy stuff. So ball leveler, electrical cords, dog tethers, some of our tools for in case we get a flat, uh, wheel chocks, um, our stabilizer pads, stuff like that. That doesn't matter if it really gets banged around or bumped or whatever in here. Um, Directly in front of that, we have a little bit of space and we put all of our um, bed supports and roof st stabilizers in there. Now, moving across to the right side, we of course have some of our really long items. So our um, chairs, our collapsible table, and our outdoor RV mat. So that all kind of goes up in this front area. Behind that, we essentially have more totes. So really the name of the game for front storage, at least for us, is totes. Um, so in here we have a lot of our electrical supplies, converters, small electrical um, extension cords, stuff like that. Below that, I have a lot of like our flammable stuff. So citronella candles, um, uh, let's see, propane, stuff like that in there, which is handy of course to have this nice lid on there. Um, in this tote, we have a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, but we have like our reflective tarps, some, a lot of our tools, things of that nature. So that all goes in there. And then below that, we have um, our, a lot of our water supplies, hoses and um, stuff like that. So these of course stack pretty nicely and it makes it um, easy to take everything out when you're setting up um, camp. And then once you set up camp, I would say almost 90% of the stuff is out of here. And if you're not using it, it can just go back in the tote and you can set it right back in here. So the name of the game for at least our, a lot of our outdoor stuff or our front storage box is totes. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for our pop-up camper organization. As you guys saw, it's pretty much just a lot of totes and storage containers in the front storage box. Um, and then, of course, we utilize a lot of those small baskets of varying sizes as well as like the crates and stuff on the inside. Um, and and don't be afraid to utilize like Ziploc bags or something to um, break down your organization a little further. And then of course, you know, we had those cool things that we bought like the hanging organizer, the um, modified shoe organizer, as well as that um, collapsible tote that we put a lot of our pantry items in. 
So hopefully you guys um, got some ideas at least or some inspiration um, from, what, from how we organize our pop-up that you might be able to incorporate somehow into your organization. That way you're not tripping over everything when you're trying to be out, trying to be out camping and, and enjoying your time. So with that being said, I hope you guys got some uh, ideas and uh, hopefully we see you out there camping. <laughs> Thank you.